Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment on this video saying I subscribed. Let's get into it. The head of BAE Systems India has said that the company is looking for international partners to access the best assured capability for developing the Tempest 6th generation fighter jet, and it believes that an international partner like India will be essential for the project. The Tempest fighter will be targeted to enter service around 2035 to 2040, and it will be technologically more advanced than current fifth generation fighters like the American F-22 and F-35, as well as the Chinese J-20 and J-31. The international partners will be chosen based on four parameters, a large military that will buy more aircraft, a large defense budget to pay the development costs, a good industrial capability to play a useful development role, and powerful international influence to support the alliance. According to latest reports, the 13 series production Tejas aircraft has completed its maiden flight, and after the completion of few initial production testing sorties, the aircraft will be handed over to the 45th Squadron of the Indian Air Force by end of March 2019. The next aircraft in line are SP-15 and SP-16, and Hindustan Aeronautics has promised that it will deliver the fighter jets by end of March 2019. According to latest reports, the RDO has successfully flight tested its solid fuel ducted ramjet propulsion based missile system. The system was guided to high altitude to simulate aircraft release conditions, and it accelerated to achieve the ramjet Mach number successfully. The successful test of the propulsion technology is a significant milestone, and will pave the way for development of long range air to air systems in the country. According to latest reports, India has successfully tested the indigenously developed helicopter-launched Helena system for its full range of 8 km. The Helena has been developed by the DRDO on a budget of $47 million, and is guided by an infrared imaging seeker, and is reportedly one of the most advanced anti-tank missile system in the world. According to latest reports, the Indian Army has started the induction of new sniper rifles into the service, for which it had floated a tender for procurement of 5,719 sniper rifles from global vendors in January 2019. The rifles being inducted are the Lapua Magnum Scorpio by the Italian firm Beretta, and the 50 caliber M95 rifle by American firm Barrett, which has a range of 1.8 kilometers. The former chairman of Hindustan Aeronautics has said that Hindustan Aeronautics ranks 38th in the global ranking of top 100 aerospace companies, and the skills and facilities are at par with the global competition. He also said that some vested interests and external forces may like to see this industry weakened and demoralized by their sustained criticism. According to latest reports, the All Mazanti Air and Space Defense Corporation of Russia will display a broad range of military and civilian products at the 12th Aero India International Aerospace Show 2019. The visitors will have an opportunity to see the S-300 and S-400 air defense system, anti-2500 system, Buchem-2 air defense system, as well as modified version of the Tour system, and various other platforms. The Secretary of the Department of Defense Production Dr. Ajay Kumar has said that the center has approved 15 projects worth 1,000 crore rupees to upgrade and modernize ordnance factories across the country, which will help to enhance production capability. The government has also given significant work orders including mass production of artificial intelligence-based items and products for long-range Tanush artillery systems to these factories. Thank <laughs> you.